Hello and welcome back. So in this lecture, we will be understanding functional dependency. We already have basics, basic knowledge of functional dependency. In this lecture, we will be going little deeper and we will understand how to determine a functional dependency or how to find out a functional dependency into a table, into a relation. Okay. So let's get started. So when we say that A determines B, I'm just assuming for this. So when we say A determines B or A functionally determines B, it means for A, for a for an instance of A, we will have unique value of B. Let's say if we have A1 which is giving us B3, then in the entire table A1 will always result to B3. Okay, so there will not be a case when A1 resulting B2 and A1 also resulting B3. Okay, this case will not be there. We will always have a unique value for a particular across a particular corresponding to a particular element. Okay, like A1 will always derive to B3. Fine. So this is then we derive that okay if these conditions are satisfied throughout the table then we say okay A can functionally determine B. Now here we have a table and we will try to identify what are the functional dependencies here for this table. Okay. So how we go about solving these kind of problems. How we think start thinking that okay uh, what will be the functional dependency. So let's randomly think about A determines B. A determines B. Now we will choose our approach will be to discard this not to select this. We will keep negative approach. We will try to find out an uh, element in A corres uh, corresponding to which two different B's are there. Okay. What I am saying is an uh, element let's say A1 Okay, I am choosing A1 in this case. So across A1, I will try to find out the value, two different values of B. B. Fine. So as we can see from the first, from the first, this table only, uh, first two rows only that here A1 functionally determining A1 is across, I mean corresponding to B1 and here it is B2. So we have two different element corresponding to a single element in of A, right? So it means it is not possible. Now we will go and check whether similar uh, functional dependencies are there. So let's say we will find out, we will check for A functionally determines C. So again our approach will be negative. We will try to discard this. So let's, com let's compare these two columns here. A1 corresponds to C1, A1 corresponds to C1. So this is correct, right? A1 always corresponds to a unique element. Here A2 corresponds to C2. Again A2 is correspond here across C2. And A3 corresponds to C2. Okay. So we can have two elements A1 and let's A2 and A3. Okay. Deriving same element C3. Okay. But we cannot have reverse thing. That is that this A2 is deriving, deriving to A2 is determining two elements that is let's say C3 and C4 okay this is wrong but this is always correct fine so we have now we cannot discard this so we have this table in this table we have this functional dependency so A determines C is correct now we will do some random uh, possibilities and check for it. So let's say C implies D. Okay. So again C1, C1 corresponds to D1, but here C1 again the same C1 corresponds to D2. So this doesn't satisfy our condition and this is wrong. So similarly we will go and we will check for all the possibilities. Now the question is up to I mean we will if we try to uh, construct all the possibilities there will be a lot of functional dependency and we will have to check for it. So the best thing is to start with the options. So whatever 
four options you have been given you start with them and discard keep on discarding the option that this is not possible okay and likewise you can solve problems on functional dependency so i hope this is clear thanks for watching